Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Riders Preview Show episode 3. I'm your host Tahir Haja, and we're here today to preview the Leicester Riders taking on the London Lions tomorrow in the BBL. And today we've got two fantastic guests for you. Once again we've got our head coach Rob Padanostro in the building, also alongside your captain Tyler Bernardini. Don't forget ladies and gentlemen you can purchase your tickets now online via the Leicester Riders website and you can also watch the game on livebasketball.tv. Here he is, your head coach, Rob Pananostra, and he's got some thoughts to share with us today. And so, Rob, exciting game in Plymouth, overtime game. Talk us through the game. Yeah, it was a, it was a heck of a game. Uh, you know, they, they jumped on us in the third quarter and had an advantage going into the fourth, but I thought our defense really stepped up when it, when it counted. Uh, and then we made a lot of free throws. I think uh, you know making our free throws late was important. Guys uh, kept believing, even though you know maybe the ball wasn't going in uh, for long stretches of the game. But I can't fault the effort, and I can't fault the determination to get the job done. Fantastic, and it's a quick turnaround period to face London. How do you and the team tackle such a short period of time? Well, obviously, yeah, a long trip coming back on Sunday. Uh, you know, lots of video, but guys want to play. I think, um, uh, you know, as a player myself, you, you enjoy, uh, you know, playing right away. You want to get back out on the court, and I know um, that our guys uh, are looking forward to, to playing the last game before Christmas in front of, in front of a big home crowd. Fantastic. Two former riders coming into the building, Zaire Taylor, Rashad Hassan, 21-8, two Molten uh, MVPs this season so far. Um, they've started season well. Yeah, no surprise to me. Uh, you know, those two guys are, are really good players. Um, you know, Rashad uh, has done a great job uh, in his first season down there. And Zaire coming back to London, good leader, um, excellent player. Um, talent, you know, as simple as that. Those guys have a lot of talent. They can do a lot of things on the basketball floor. And that's why they are in the position that they're in. They have that kind of talent throughout the team, but they also have played together well. So this is a good team that we're playing on Wednesday night. So what's it going to take tomorrow night on and off the court from your riders team? Well, we need a great home crowd, uh, and I know it's a festive time of the year, and um, usually we get some, some real passionate crowds uh, in here, uh, and we're going to have to play uh, better than we have. Uh, I think that uh, it's important for us to um, you know, not have to have a big deficit. We've got to come out early and, and you know, uh, put our stamp on the game, uh, but it's a good BBL basketball game, and I think this season there's a lot of those, and London coming in here versus the Riders on Wednesday night uh, should be a great one. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. So, Riders fans, you can now check out some of the best highlights from this BBL Week's action. Some fantastic highlights there for us to check out this week from the BBL. And now, Riders fans, we have your captain, Tyler Bernardini, in the building. Welcome, Tyler, uh, to the preview show, episode three. We are here right now. So how's things going at the moment then, Tyler? Yeah, really good. We're fresh off a big win, road win down in Plymouth. Um, so, you know, feel, feelings are pretty good. Um, just excited for uh, the London Lions at home. Well, talk us through that overtime win in Plymouth. Yeah, I guess a uh, roller coaster of emotions really were, you know, it's tight, we're down big, um, and then that fourth quarter we kind of make that comeback. And uh, I think it was good for our guys to, to be able to be down against a quality opponent um, and, and know we can come back. Obviously, we, we don't want to put ourselves in that kind of situation a lot, and that's been the big focus in looking at uh, how we got to that point. Um, but it's, it's just really good knowing that we have the type of, of, of makeup that we can come back from that, the toughness that it takes, the togetherness that it takes to make those kinds of comebacks, to believe that you can kind of overcome that kind of deficit. And so that was uh, some really good takeaways from that trip. Well, you would have been in the forefront of that huddle, putting a lot of valuable advice to your teammates in the camp captaincy role that you've got this season. How are you finding the captaincy role, taking it on from Barry Lamb? Yeah, it's been really good this year. I think it's, um, 
it's a lot, a lot more interesting than I than I maybe thought. I think uh, you know when things, especially when things aren't going aren't going well, that's when you really need to step in. Having a lot of the little conversations, the late night yeah. phone calls, um, talking to younger guys, you know, looking at some extra film, making sure that you really have a good pulse on how everybody feels um, at all times. And then so before the Plymouth game, making sure I give some words just to kind of get everybody focused on the right type of things. And that's the most important part for me is, it, is being the captain is just making sure um, the message that's coming from Rob is reaching everybody in the right way, making sure everybody understands what he wants um, and, and to help move us forward because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. The captain's role for me is just about finding ways to help our team win. Um, in whatever way possible. And so we keep you guys motivated, focused. Um, that's what it's all about. And um, you know, I guess given our record, 11-2 in the league, um, I like to say I'm pretty proud of that so far. Um, but how are you finding the season individually as a player? Yeah, pretty good. Um, you know, obviously you always want more of yourself. And, um, and so that's what I'm looking for. How, you know, how could I be better? Um, you know, give myself more of production. But for me, um, the way I look at my role with this club is do whatever I can do to win. So if that's scoring points, if that's playing defense, uh, if that's getting rebounds, assists, whatever it is, that's my focus is just that end result. Um, and so even so for this past weekend, I you know, probably took a less of a role offensively just because I felt like defensively I really needed to focus there. Um, and it was just one of those things. It's the way it worked out. Uh, and we win, and I'm happy, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> and, and how's the team looking ahead of London tomorrow? Uh, really excited for that. And obviously, they, they came into our building a few weeks ago um, and beat us in the cup quarterfinal, and, and that still has left a nice sour taste in our mouth. We have familiar faces there with Zaire, um, Rashad, and then also just a really familiar um, kind of com competitiveness with that team. Over the last two years, we've played each other, I think, in almost every competition, cup, trophy. Um, so uh, we're really familiar with them, their toughness, um, their strengths, and so we're really excited for that challenge um, and uh, get out in front of our home fans and, and show them what we got. Well, you heard the rally cry there, Riders fans. Tyler Bernardini wants you to get down to the Leicester Arena as the Leicester Riders take on the London Lions tomorrow. Um, and you can buy your tickets now online on the Leicester Riders website. Also, check out all of our social media for behind-the-scenes action as we lead up to the big game. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here on the preview show, episode three. I've been your host, Tahir Hajat. Thank you very much.